could the Apollo lunar module be flown to a landing without the LEM guidance computer? Inspired by answers to https colon slash slash space dot stack exchange dot com slash q slash four nineteen forty slash six nine four four this question but not talking about that specific relaunch scenario. Could the LEM stack descent configuration be flown without any guidance program running in the LEM guidance computer LGC? I think the actual response to a total LGC failure would have been to abort. I could be wrong about that, but that is not the question. Definition of could be flown is an attitude, attitude rate reference is available to the crew other than out the window, a three-axis velocity reference is available to the crew h, t to over, an altitude readout is available to the crew other than out the window I think this is a yes. The crew can manually control the attitude of the vehicle, the crew can throttle the descent engine, the crew can shut off the descent engine I think this is a yes, all of the above must be accomplished without using any LGC functions. Could be flown is a clear yes, could be flown to a landing is another story. Most of the points you are listing can be accomplished using the backup system in the LM, the abort guidance system AGS. I'll be using the LM Apollo Operations Handbook Volume 1 as the main source for all your specific points. An attitude, attitude rate reference is available to the crew other than out the window. The AGS has a subsystem called the Abort Sensor Assembly ASA. As the AOH says, the ASA performs the same function as the IMU page 2.1 to 8. The attitude MON switch selects PGNS or AGS as source of vehicle total attitude and attitude errors displayed on the FDAI. The displayed attitude rates displayed are always obtained from the rate euro assembly, which is part of the AGS. So the LGC is not the source for the rates on the FDAI page 3 to 20. An altitude readout is available to the crew other than out the window. The mode SEL switch switches between three source for the altitude range indicators tape meters. LDG radar, PGNS and AGS. In the LDG radar position the displays show the raw LR data slant range and rate. In PGNS and AGS mode the data is coming from the computers. Page 3 to 22. A three axis velocity reference is available to the crew. In AGS mode only two axis are available, altitude and lateral, but the raw data from the LR is showing altitude and altitude rate on the tape meters and forward and lateral velocity on the X pointers. Page 3 to 16, X pointer indicator, remarks. The crew can manually control the attitude of the vehicle. The PGNS and AGS have automatic attitude control modes, but there always is a capability to control the attitude manually using the attitude control assembly ACA in different modes, from computer aided to full manual hardover page 2.1 to 30, all modes except automatic. The crew can throttle the descent engine. Manual throttle commands can be generated using the thrust translation controller assembly TTCA which always are added to the auto throttle commands from the LGC page 2.1 to 20 first paragraph the crew can shut off the descent engine this can be accomplished using the engine stop buttons page 3 to 81 engine stop push button and page 2.1 to 140 figure 2.1 to 51 what the AGS does not have is the descent guidance programs of the LGC so landing without the automatic guidance is probably possible by following a nominal altitude and altitude rate chart or so, but landing with any accuracy at the desired landing site without the LGC would be rather difficult.